this is Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum, and uh, this is an absolutely gorgeous 1972 Triumph Tiger 650 Roadster. Uh, this bike was owned by a good friend of mine, Andrew Furness, from Stafford, Connecticut. He bought it brand new from Bird Ives Honda. Actually, it was uh, uh, three years old when he purchased it, and uh, he's had it for 40 years. Uh, he bought this bike in 1977, and um, he's owned it since it was brand new. Uh, he's getting up in years, and he broke his ankle earlier this year. Uh, a work accident and um, he's not recovering that quickly and needed to sell the bike so we purchased it from him and uh, this is one of the nicest running 72s I've ever been on it runs shifts and rides just awesome I had a 72 Daytona 500 back in 1980 when I was uh, 15 years old hand me down from my brother uh, I bought it off him when he bought a 750 Bonville and um, boy it brings back memories it's right side shift uh, very uh, these are known for good handling, uh, long travel suspension, sit upright in the frame. This has the Wassell uh, original British sporting handlebars and the small mirror. Um, just a real nice sporting stance. Bike starts right up, first kick every time so far. Uh, it's tuned to perfection. He, uh, every year, he, he uh, took the bike camping a lot. He went on camping trips with it with his wife and uh, um, mostly local stuff. The bike only has 21,000 miles on it and uh, he kept it immaculate. The engine's in beautiful condition. As you can see from the photo shoot, it's a fantastic looking motorcycle and it runs as good as it looks. The original paint has some patina on it. Uh, we, did tr we did not do any touch up paint on the tank or fenders. It's all original. You can see so the original pinstripe has been uh, largely waxed off in areas, um, but uh, it shows beautiful, the original paint. Very rarely do we get in a 45 year old motorcycle that has original paint. And as you know, if you're a collector, the older they get, People want a little patina on the bike. They want the original paint. They don't want a repainted bike that doesn't show the condition the bike's always been in. Obviously, a well, much loved bike. When I came to see him, he was sitting in his garage. He has a little like man room set up in his garage, and he was sitting on the chair staring at the bike. And I think I saw a tear in his eye when I rolled it in the truck. He, you know, 40 years, a big portion of his life. But um, he wasn't going to ride it anymore with the injury he had in his ankle. Uh, and I uh, wanted to see it go to a good home, so he called me. And um, I hope it does go to a good home. Uh, portion of the proceeds are going to fund the New England Motorcycle Museum so not only are you buying a piece of motorcycle history you're helping support the New England Motorcycle Museum and Kaplan Cycles and preserve motorcycle culture. Um, let me fire it up take it for a quick demo. Uh, everything works beautifully on the bike as, it, as you would expect. Uh, once a year every spring he'd bring this bike to Frank de Grey who's the best Triumph tuner around who's since retired and now works out of his house um, but closed his shop and he had a few clients like this that he still once a year, he'd pull the carb off, clean the carb, make sure the fuel was fresh, adjust the points, change all the fluids, and, and that's reflected in the condition of the bike. This is a bike that did not sit in a, in a barn for 30 years and was found and cleaned up. This bike has always been maintained and ridden, and that's the difference between this. This is, this is an original cucumber. This isn't a bike that, a cucumber that turned into a pickle that someone turned back. You know, once, once it becomes a pickle, it never becomes a cucumber. They're only original once. This is an original, fresh cucumber. Pardon the analogy, but I think it's appropriate. Um, let me fire it up. Give you a quick demo. First kick every time. The hallmark of a fine-tuned British racing machine. Hop on, Kenny. Show the color red. The 1972 model was one of the last years with the right side shift, and uh, this is a fantastic handling bike. I've got some information on it I'll share with you when we get inside about the history of the motorcycle. So uh, let me pull over here, I'll drop Kenny and I'll do a quick drive-by for you. Reliable, classic British styling. A true classic antique motorcycle. You can't go wrong. Buy this bike. 
ride it off into the sunset. Hop on, Kenny, we'll bring you one side and we'll read the literature about it real quick. Just a fantastic handling motorcycle. Triumphs are, are notorious for being good handling motorcycles. This is also one of the first years of the five-speed transmission, which is like an overdrive. So if you're gonna take this on the highway at all, or to the beach, or cross country even, you wanna make sure uh, you buy one with a five-speed, which this has. Um, I also have the, uh, I have the title. Stand. It also has a center stand, which is nice for displaying the bike or for cleaning the, the rims, um, the spokes. Bike sits beautifully. Just a spectacular looking machine. Uh, true, uh, truly, a, these bikes are uh, definitely artwork in my opinion. I've always loved the style of the European twins. Um, in addition to all the kit work, I also have the original tool kit to the motorcycle, which is something you hardly ever see. Uh, that's still in good condition. I also have the, um, has the original uh, stick, not only the original paint job on the tank, but the original Tiger 650 stickers, which are a little faded, but as you'd expect, from 45 years old, but they're all there. And then I've got, which is really cool, the original owner's handbook, which looks like it just came out of, out of a box. It's in beautiful condition. There's no grease marks or anything on it. I have the registration. Uh, the motorcycle is uh, re been registered from, uh, to Andrew since 1977, and here's the title. Um, he bought it on April 25th in 1977 from Bird Ives when they were a Triumph dealer four years ago. So um, as I said earlier, the, the 72 Tiger, this classic antique Triumph, this, this model here remedied a few of the issues that the 71 Tiger had. They redesigned the rear frame and everything that went with it, the side covers, a thinner seat, the air filters, the battery tray, the electrical suite, etc., have all been redesigned so the seat can rest two inches shorter. This is a later 72 model, and it doesn't have the styling grip on the lower front fork sliders. As you can see, the forks are in gorgeous condition. Look at that aluminum alloy on the forks. Polished, uh, the forks, uh, the actual fork chrome is in mint shape, something you don't see on most 45 year old motorcycles. The chrome on the front wheel is in beautiful condition. It's got a couple of chips on the chrome, but it's all original. The aluminum on the side of the engine is gorgeous. There's no oil leaking anywhere from the head that I can see. Um, an unmolested original bike, the bolts have never been off on the head. There's no strip bolts because no one's ever been into the top end because it's oil's been changed and the filters have been clean and it's ran only clean gas. So the, the original top end's in good condition. Um, this version of the, the new version, the 72 Tiger, gives the bike a much cleaner look. Triumph also swapped the handlebars, which is at the left side was dedicated to the directional signals and kill switch and the right sides over here control the headlight horn and the headlight dimmer. This roadster shifts on the right side and comes with an optional five-speed gearbox which is a huge upgrade over the four. And as I mentioned earlier, it has the original English Wassell sporting handlebars uh, so it gives it a nice cafe look right out of the box. Truly a stunning classic. Uh, this is a one owner bike. Uh, he bought it in, in 77, actually two owner bike, excuse me, one owner since 1977 and uh, has all the original decals on it. It looks and handles like new, and everything works electronically. Um, as expected for a 45-year-old classic, there's a, it has a little bit of patina that I showed you on the tank here, uh, where, the, where the, the original stripes are, 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 have a little patina, but that's the beauty of it, it's all original. This bike is going up in value daily. The current NBA value is just under 7,000, that's 6,890. I think it's a steal at 6,890. Um, if you look at the, the value of the Triumphs from the 60s, 10 years before this, they're in the high teens and early 20s. Uh, what's next? Well, the, the Triumphs from the early 70s. He's going to be going through the roof. Mark my words, 10 years from now, it should be double what it is now. So, um, in addition to uh, the title, you get the registration, you get the manual, you get the toolkit, full providence on the motorcycle. Uh, no guessing where it's been. It's been in Andrew's loving care for the last 40 years. Hope it goes to a great home. Um, if you have any questions about the bike, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Um, check out our eBay store at Kaplan Cycles on eBay. If you're wondering if the bike's still for sale, it will be up on eBay. Um, it'll stay on YouTube forever, so uh, 
Hope you've enjoyed this video reminiscing of this absolutely gorgeous 72 antique Triumph. Uh, it also has the original turn signals on it. The tack and speedo look like it just came out of the box. There's no fading on the glass. It still has the original, the original, look at this Kenny. It still has the original uh, a warning sticker uh, on from when it came out of the box brand new. Uh, everything on the bike is beautiful. The exhaust system, um, the frame rails on the bottom of the frame. The, the, the bottom of the engine looks like it just came out of the box. There's no dirt on it. Take a look at this kitty. Seriously, do, do it up close on, on this one because you just don't see this. The thing looks brand new underneath it. Uh, the, the, you look at the bottom of most 50 year old, most one year old motorcycles don't look this clean. I'm telling you, Andy was nuts about this bike. He had it in his man room and he maintained it like it was his, his bride for 40 years. The honeymoon never ended with this bike. It only ended because of his health. So good luck finding a nicer one. Look at the original seat on this thing. You can see the original logo still on there. No tears in it. Um, just, just underneath the seat looks beautiful. That's where the uh, where he had the um, tool kit. Battery's new. Look at, look, at, look at the paint. Gorgeous. Underneath the seat looks NOS. So. Like I said, good luck finding a nicer original. We just sold one that had a new paint job on it, had been refurbished um, actually uh, today, actually the, the auction ended on that one. So um, beautiful bike. I know it's going to a good home, but th this here is definitely a huge step up from that one as far as the, the, the quality of the motorcycle and the provenance. Look at the rear tire. Rear tire on it's brand new, less than 100 miles. Take a close up of the rear tire, Kenny. Rear tire is like brand new. Uh, the front tire's got at least 50% tread, but it does have a brand new rear tire on it. Bike doesn't need anything. It's ready to roll. Buy this bike and have yourself an awesome next 40 years enjoying it, because if you take care as good as Andy had 40 years from now, this still will be in great shape. Love these old tramps. Good luck bidding on the bike. God bless America.